We're asked to multiply these rational expressions and simplify our answer as much as possible. So actually before I multiply, because these are two fractions, I can multiply the tops and multiply the bottoms, but before we do that I want to do our simplification first. So just looking at the fractions that we're starting with, this one on the left hand side here can't be simplified. The 3 and the 4, nothing cancels. The B and the A, nothing cancels. But we tried. The one on the right hand side, however, can be simplified at least a little. I've got an 8 and a 9, no common factors to cancel. There's an A in the top, but nothing in the bottom. But then for the B's, I do have 1B in the top and 4B's in the bottom. So I'm going to cancel one of those B's. So if I cancel this B in the top by basically dividing by B, I'll put that in here, divide by B, then that B is going to cancel. And then in the bottom, if I divide by B, it's going to cancel one of those four B's to leave me with just three. So I'm going to rewrite from here that we have the first fraction 3b over 4a just as it was before. The second one has been simplified a little bit though. I've still got the 8 and the a in the top. The 1b in the top has canceled one of the b's in the bottom so that I now have just 9 and b 3 in the bottom. So we've simplified each one of those fractions as much as we can. Next, I'm going to look for any cross-canceling that I can do. So looking on the diagonals here, I'm looking to see if there's anything that I can cancel between these two. And again, I can. I can cancel the 3 and the 9. So that 3 goes into 3 once, 3 goes into 9 three times. Just cross canceling there. And then for the B's, I've got one B in the top and three B's in the bottom. This one B is going to cancel one of those B's, leaving me with just two of them. And then I'm going to look on the other diagonal to see if there's anything that I can cross cancel here. And the four and the eight, those are both cancelable. I've got a 4 that goes into 4 1 times and 4 goes into 8 2 times so I've cross cancelled those numbers but then the A's there is 1 A in the bottom and 1 A in the top and those are going to cancel each other out so A cancels A now that we've done all of this simplification we can look to multiply Multiplying across the top for the numbers, I've got just the 1 and the 2, so 1 times 2 is 2. Notice the B's have been canceled and the A's have been canceled in the top. In the bottom, looking at the numbers, 1 and 3, 1 times 3 is 3. That A has been canceled, but the B is still there and there are two of them, so it's B2. By simplifying first, both simplifying the fractions that we started off with and then cross-canceling to simplify, we've ended up with our solution that is already in its simplest form. This fraction won't reduce any further.